Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through how to install Linkerd into your Kubernetes cluster. I'll be using Docker Desktop and I already have kubectl command installed. Let's quickly validate the Kubernetes cluster by running kubectl version dash dash short. You should see an output something like this with client version and the server version. Next, we need to download the Linkerd CLI. This CLI lets you interact with your Linkerd deployment. The command to install it is this curl command. So it will download the CLI and install on your local machine. The download is complete and it says it has installed Linkerd successfully. Now we need to add this Linkerd CLI to the path variable. The command for that is export path and the path to the Linkerd command. Let's do that. Now once we do that, let's verify the installation by running the command Linkerd version. Here it shows the client version and the server version. The server version is shown as unavailable. That's fine because we don't have the control plane yet. But if you reach this point, everything has worked fine. Now before we install the Linkerd control plane, we need to check if everything can be configured successfully. To do that, we can run the linkerd check dash dash pre command. Behind the scenes, it will do a bunch of checks and in the end, it will tell you whether everything is a success. Now, as you see here, there's a green check mark at the end, which means it can be configured successfully on this system. Now, if there are any checks that do not pass, make sure to follow the provided links in the error and fix those before proceeding. Now that the CLI and cluster is ready to go, it's time to install the control plane using the command linkerd install pipe kubectl apply dash f dash. The linkerd install command generates a Kubernetes manifest with all the control plane resources. We pipe it to kubectl apply so that it gets installed onto the cluster. Now, depending on your internet connection and speed, it might take a minute or two for the installation to complete. Once the installation completes and the control plane is ready, let's verify the installation by running linkerd check. You should see all green check marks here and in the end it should stay, say status check results are green. You can also verify by running kubectl get pods on a namespace linkerd and it should show three pods running. That was it about installing linkerd. In the next video, we'll deploy a sample application to show what all things linkerd can do. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from me. Thank you.